guys. I'm good. Como estas? Ni hao ma? Um, I actually wanted to talk to you about something that I figured that it's been like a bug to everyone else. But I actually wanted to get it first before I actually talk to you guys about it. So today I'm going to be talking about abuse. So what is abuse? Well, abuse is actually when someone is doing something to you that you don't agree with. Uh, or maybe they manipulate you or threaten you to do it, which is it's a really bad act. It can be either emotional, mentally, physical, uh, verbal. It can also be an abuse. So today I'm just gonna like wrap them up in like general, but most importantly focusing on the physical abuse, which like a lot of people have been urging me to talk about this. Actually, like say it out, something like that. So. What I like realized in this like, seven years and all that, like, even till today, is that when someone, especially when it like comes to ladies, when someone reports like an abuse, uh, especially the physical one, maybe let's say for example, uh, someone's being raped or all that, or harassed or something, something like that, yeah, that kind of abuse. Uh, I have a problem or maybe like a lot of people that have been telling me to talk about this topic like we have a problem in and I, I believe that everyone has this problem also like it's not the, the, the abuse we are worried about yes we are worried about it but what we are more concerned about is how the abuse is being treated or like the law has been implemented on the abuse or abuser yeah so you you have to like ask yourself like the law and our government and all that they have to like ask themselves why are people not reporting abuse because it's not like everyone likes to be abused and not because you're not saying anything it's like you're fine with it it's not like you're fine with it we are not fine about it like no one is fine about it like it, it, it doesn't have to happen to you so that you have to like care about something like we see these things on tv some people have been like victims of this i'll maybe try to like gather some people who are free or feel free to talk about it maybe i'll just like have them on another video where we'll be continuing with this talk then maybe they can actually tell us how does this affect them or how do they like or what will they like to be like taken like something like that yeah so that we can actually get the words from the horses now so yeah like i said people are not reporting abuse not because they are fine with it they are they are not reporting the abuse because it's how they're getting treated when they report the abuse you see that they say you're lying or they they actually don't do anything about it you can they can maybe just arrest someone and tomorrow they are out it's like there is nothing that they I, I don't even understand how does that work like imagine when someone is like they report an abuse and you get being told that whatever that happened to you you called it upon yourself i mean like who can like literally call an abuse for themselves I mean, like, how can I say, okay, I'm Patricia, and I just like, okay, can you please come and abuse me? Like, that's, 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 you know, you get what I mean, right? You do get what I mean. So, like, it's, it's, that's why people don't report abuse, because they are treated like they wanted it to happen, they, they, whatever that they do, that it's their own fault, or they even lie. Like, especially when is that one that happens like around the family and all that, like maybe your, your uncle, your brother, your father, your cousin, your like everyone like just like abused one of the family members. Now you can't say it out because your own family doesn't believe you. So I, I you do get my point, right? So imagine the same people that you need to get support from, they are not supporting you at all. Like if your family is not supporting you, like how how is the community going to support you? Because they are the ones that like we get strength from. So if your own family doesn't believe you, and 
it goes for even mothers. Imagine, imagine if uh, my mother I'm recording something and she doesn't believe me. You, 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 you can see my point, right? So those are most cases. Like th th those things do happen, and the problem is we do have laws to prevent these abuses. The problem is they are not being implemented. Like, or maybe I could say they are implemented but not effectively or efficiently or that. People who are getting abused, they, they want assurance. Like, firstly, they want assurance that they will be believed. They want assurance that the person who abused them will get dealt with and accordingly so. Not like arresting someone today and like releasing them tomorrow like that that's not that's that, that's nothing like we we need to get like the system that actually works like if you have to like let's say you have like a tree that you want to cut down you can't cut the branches and leave the stem it's still gonna grow right so you need to get like a solution that will get rid of the tree permanently so maybe we can get that then maybe, just maybe, we won't have like this occurring abuse, 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 every now and then it's abuse, every now and then. It's like, there needs to be a message that needs to be sent out for something to not happen. Like, obviously, you have a problem when you like have the same problem reoccurring every time, reoccurring every time. You need to get like, like that. So the problem is not that people who are abused, they don't report. They don't report because of us guys. They don't report because of us. We judge them. We don't listen to them. Uh, we make them feel like they are the problem. Imagine if the, the magistrate is saying that, uh, no, Patricia, uh, you've been abused because of the way you were wearing. So like, if something is not supposed to be worn, like, why are you manufacturing it? You can't tell a girl that she's been, ab she's been abused because she was wearing a, a skirt. Like, if a skirt is a problem, why don't we just eliminate the skirts on the problem? If that's the problem. Because they're saying people are getting abused because the way they were wearing. They're wearing skirts. Like, women wear skirts. So if they are manufactured, it means that they are correct, right? So that's exactly what I'm saying. If something is wrong, eliminate it from the start before we can, before we, we have like this, all this problem arising everywhere. So like guys, this topic is not done yet. It's still gonna continue. Uh, I'm still, I'll try to like get more people to like talk about this. Mm, let's maybe hear other people's opinions. I'll even try to get people who have been through this so that they can actually tell us how their problem was dealt with, how is it going and all that. But I know that it, mm, it is, it's personal for other people, so whatever way they will come in front, it will be fine. Uh, I would really like for one of them to be on the videos. Uh, this is, it was just an introduction about the topic for abuse and how it's being dealt with and all that. But, as soon as I get that one, we'll be coming up with the next video where we'll be continuing with this topic. So I hope you guys, like, let's help our friends, let's help our sisters, our brothers, everyone who's being, like, through this not good situation. And even our law, they should just, like, think about ways in which this can not happen. Because we can't live like this. You can't live your life being like feel like there's someone coming to reach you from the back because of the way you're wearing like i know because i don't even feel free wearing skirts these days not these days i've never been free wearing skirts at all so uh because like i've had like so many encounters where like i'm being chased and all that so i'm just happy that i i had like the ability to run the way i did sometimes i just look at my legs and be like if it was not for these guys i don't know where i would have been so yeah some people don't get it but i hope after all this topic and everything that i've been talking about they will get it so thank you guys um Chishé, uh thank you very much gracious uh, i hope that we will 
meet again and please like share and subscribe to the channel uh, hit the link below the button below so that you can hear our next videos and you will be left out so until we meet again guys thank you very much i'm patricia trisha and i hope to make your life better by watching me in changing the world oh, no.